Hey, we're visiting Jenny today. Jenny's got beehives in the background. A nice little bonnet here for me to wear at one point. I, I'm a little nervous about this. I think I'm gonna ask for hazard pay, but we're gonna try to plant some wildflowers out here. I'll tell you more about how and why as we go along. Let's get started. One of them has more annuals than the other. One has okay. perennial. So how did you choose your seeds? How did you how did you choose what you wanted in here? It's all bee friendly mix, so bees can make their honey from it, but it's also all season, so it starts in the early spring, goes all the way to all okay. late, late fall. Okay. Did you study this somewhere? How'd you learn all this? Uh I didn't study. I just went online and I looked at a reputable seed company. Johnny's Seeds is very reputable and they don't have any filler. I wanted to have good quality seed down. Okay. Yeah. So each of these are a mix. Um, each of the three styles yeah. we put are a mix of sorts. It's a butterfly mix, it's a bee mix, and it's a beneficial insect mix. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you know what kind of flowers you're actually getting? Yes. I do. It's a long, long list, but okay. it has um, annuals and perennials um, native to this area. So, well, anything come on, you're from supposed to know off the top of your head. Cone flowers and I don't know. I <laughs> okay. It's like a. I think it actually should. It should tell you here. Look at that. It's all. Oh, look here. at that. See, you got a cheat sheet right there. It's a cheat sheet. It has the yeah asters and baby blue eyes, bergamot, coreopsis, echinacea. Hyssop and poppies. I mean, there's just a lot. A it lot actually sounds like it's going to be kind of pretty, too. Yeah, they had pictures of it. I mean, but I, I'm under no false assumption that it's going to be easy because I think it's going to be a, a challenge. Yeah, I, I, I wish we had a way to keep the grass out of it Yeah. because the grass will eventually take it over. Yeah. I'll just put it in here. That's pretty exciting to get started. This is not a lot of seed. I think it's like, I mean, it's plenty of seed based off what they said. They said something about 10 pounds per acre. Right, right. Um, and and so it's seven pounds right there. Yeah. So it should be plenty of seed, but it doesn't look like much. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I better. We'll see if we get anything out right here. Yep, it's coming out. To start with, we're out of the bees, so I'm not too worried, but. We get over closer. I think I'm just gonna have to train Jenny to drive it. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna turn the seat on. Yeah, dude. I can see it coming out. Yeah. So how long have you had the bees? Um, this is my year fourth year, and I've added to the hives every year okay so in my first year i learned a ton about beekeeping i look back and think what an idiot <laughs> how's it looking well you know of course i can't see the seeding but we still have seed that's yeah. good news um, well you can always run out and get more if i need to and i can always run run twice if i if i still have seed so all right it sounds like a good plan i just didn't want to run out in the first two passes <laughs> right I'm wearing the IsoTunes Aware product today. It's brand new. Uh, it's different than the normal IsoTunes in that it has a, an active portion that allows me to hear everyday voices when it's not loud outside. But let's say you take a hammer and you hit something, it will block out that noise. You're probably asking why I'm using this approach. Uh, we asked Jenny uh, to kill the grass before we started, and our intention was to come out and till and then to use the power rake and use the cedar and get this all just, you know, just worked up like we normally would. We've had a lot of trouble this spring. It's, it's been wet and cold. Because of that, the, you know, the, the rains, even though we haven't got a huge amount of rain, they just come at an inopportune time for us and we've just not been able to get it dry enough to kill. It's still too wet to work right now. So I came out and looked today. We decided that we could run this cedar over the top of this dead grass and sort of use a no-till approach. These seeds that, that, that we got are supposed to only be buried about an eighth of an inch deep. So we've got the roller on the back of this uh, caravator. And that's 
what's going to basically just press in these seeds a little bit, really not more than an eighth of an inch. And then the front of the aerovator is going to kind of shake the ground a little and try to get those seeds through the grass. So that's going to, I think it's actually going to work really well. Kind of a good compromise here for these wet conditions. And I, I think we'll be okay. But I must say it's a bit disconcerting to see all these honeybees just flying back and forth over me all the time here. I think the whole neighborhood's pretty excited about it. We've had two neighbors plant. So my neighbor Steve over here planted about a 35 foot long uh, strip of wildflowers. Oh wow. And a neighbor about half mile down the road planted about a half acre of white clover. Okay. So, and everyone's been super supportive of of this project and the honeybee stuff. Now, do you have to do anything to the honey after they've made it? No. Okay, wow. Um, we take it straight from the comb. We do run it through a filter. You just, okay. I mean, you have to spin it, spin it out of the comb, and then you take it and run it through a, 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 a fairly fine mesh um, filter. Okay. And then uh, it goes directly in the bottle. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it keeps, all, it's actually, honey's actually a prebiotic. And okay. It, yeah, it's got all kinds of so yummy. It's good for you. Yes, it is. It's very good for your digestive system. So is this considered raw honey? Yes. That's what I see in the store these days. Organic or raw? Not organic because, okay. because it's not certified, and you'd have to use only certified organic flowers for that. He's nervous. <laughs> Hazard pay. <laughs> what is the range of the? A bee, how far will they go from their hive? Three to five miles. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Our neighbors have all seen our bees. They know. Like, we have Italian and Russian honeybees for the most part. Okay. Italian ones have real butter yellow butt, I guess, if you want to call it that. Interesting. And the uh, Russians have very dark black with, with very thin yellow striping, so it's completely different. They're completely different in their attitudes and they're different in their honey making. I mean, it's... Does the honey fun. taste different? No. Okay, and that's because they're probably same flowers, same, same area. Okay. And okay. It, it will depend. The honey does taste different depending on the season. The spring honey, well, you don't usually get spring honey, but summer honey is different than fall honey. Okay, so when do you get honey? So we generally get honey July 1st time frame and September 1st time frame. If you look on these hives, the two that are really active and busy have the two bottom boxes yes. are where they have their babies and where they store pollen for the babies and okay. honey food for themselves. And the two top boxes, the white and the, the tan colored ones, that, those are honey supers and those are for me. Those are for, that's, they're going to make all the excess honey and they're going to put it up there. And there's okay. a really thin, see that right below? Yes, all, yes. That is a queen excluder. It's like a little mesh that we put over the top of those two bottom boxes to keep the queen out of our honey. Because she would go up there and lay eggs and have babies up there oh. and everything. I'm going with the bonnet. <laughs> you know, I just met you this morning. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you like, like I've known you all my life. I'm, <laughs> I guess I'm just a trusting person here. Now, yeah. do you want some gloves to wear? Uh, I might even have some gloves. No, I mean, I have beekeeper gloves. They protect your hands oh, if great. you want them. Oh, great. That'd be great. No, it really is interesting how uh, Jenny's not, she doesn't have any fear for the bees at all. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting hobby for her, actually. And uh, I guess I could see that. I'd probably get used to that. Before we started here, she made me go stand right between all those hives without any protection. She said that, look, they won't hurt you. And uh, they didn't, but I must admit, I was scared the whole time I was in there. Yeah, I, you know, anytime I'm over here with a tractor and bees, uh, you've seen some of the prior episodes, that usually does not end well for me. Here he goes into the mist. Yeah, there we go. See, they're coming and going, and they're like, what? See, they didn't get after them at all. No. Do these bees even sting? Yeah, they do. They do, okay. Yeah. Now, the bees, the, the bees are, all the workers are girls. And That's they, normal. And they do, right? <laughs> the drones are 
you know, the boys, of course, there aren't as many of them, but they do nothing. It's kind of an interesting thing. All they do is meet with the queen, if they can catch her. But just the queen, right? Yep. That's right. That's all I know about these. Yes. Well, the queen stinger actually is not barbed. It's straight because she, at times, will have to fight other queens. Oh. If she emerges from her queen cell, there might be two or three other queens that she has to kill. Okay. Before she be becomes queen. So they fight to take over. Yes. So how much <laughs> honey will you get from, let's say, one hive? Um, in a pretty good year, it's like maybe 50 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's more than I thought. Well, bee, a bee lives for six weeks, and they work the entire time. The queen lives for four years, and she, in a, in a good day, will lay 1,500 eggs. Wow. There are approximately 150,000 bees in each big box that you see. Wow. Those boxes don't look that big. Do you know what the germination rate of your seed is? Should it be up some next week? or? I, I think it actually is 18 days, 18 to okay. 21 days. Okay. Probably gonna check again. That hat can get real hot too. Oh, yep, he's taking that hat that, off. And those gloves can get real, you can get pretty sweaty in there. Yeah. Looks like he's still got some seed because he was yeah. moving some from one chamber to another. I may be wrong here, but I'm actually thinking this is gonna work great. I really do think we're gonna get a good stand with this. I, I like how it's going in, it's, it's, it's too wet to plant, but with that grass straw on top of there, I think it's gonna be great. So how, is there anybody else in this neighborhood that does bees, or how close could another beekeeper be to you? Oh, I mean, I've got a neighbor, I'm helping to set up one hive over two houses. Over. Okay. Bees will go three to five miles from wherever they are. If they're overlapping on territories, if you've got three hives or five or 13, like I've got, or 13 it's fine oh, if, okay if somebody had if somebody put up like 20 hives right next door that would be I mean I could put 20 hives on this property and be fine that would be about the max okay but if somebody right next door did the same thing it would probably be hard for the bees to get enough nectar okay to that's support what I was themselves. wondering So not a whole lot left, huh? Not a whole lot. But enough to, you know. Keep going a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I opened it up a little bit wider. I wondered if some of the seeds were so big that they weren't they weren't getting through, but others were. I well, didn't know. Here's what we got left over. It's kind of fluffier looking stuff. Yeah. So what do you do with your honey? So I will give it away to friends and family sometimes. And then um, also we do sell it two, okay. two pounds for 20. And it's just local, so people know that they can come by and cool. pick it up. And honey never goes bad. Sometimes when I buy it at the store, it gets sugary and the... Crystallizes. Yeah. So here's the secret. Okay. You should take your honey. If it's in... in I, I always recommend glass bottles, not plastic. It's harder to bring back to liquid form in plastic. Okay. And you should never microwave honey ever. Because it just... Oh. Yeah, it's bad for it. Take, hopefully, your glass bottle. Take the lid off. Put it in water on the stove so that it's at least halfway or more covered okay. to water. Okay. And then heat that water on very low until you get 104 to 140. Anywhere in between there. Okay. Just let it sit. And it will reliquify itself. It'll be as good as new. It takes about 20, 30 minutes depending okay. on how crystallized it is. So you want the honey to get to between no, no, the, the water. water. Oh, okay. The water should be 104 to 140. And that's a guaranteed liquidization I recipe. I will now know what to do with my honey. <laughs> There's like 10 left in there. All right. Okay. And they won't come out. I'm, look at these 10. I don't think they'll ever come out. They just keep getting lifted up, but not oh. enough to get over. Yeah, I, I'm really pretty excited about this. I think yeah. being wet like this may make this work out okay. I think you're right. <laughs> and you, you've got built-in straw. That's a good idea. Your bees were, were calm, just like you promised. You've got, you've got the nicest bees I've ever met. Good. <laughs> they are pretty good. They're, they're well-behaved girls. 
I was no. nervous though, I, I must admit, driving right beside that. So yeah. Well, you know, the hotter it gets, the more active they're going to get. So, you know, doing this at two in the afternoon is kind of fun because that's their really, you know, active time. Okay, well, at least it wasn't, uh, it wasn't 90. You know, maybe that, maybe they're worse than when it's really hot. I don't know. We're going to have to come back and visit this one. I think it's going to be beautiful. I think it's really yeah. going to be nice. I'll send you some update pictures. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Jenny, uh, thanks very much. Appreciate it. And, Thank you. Uh, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wildflowers and bees. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.